and you're back. So am I. And we're here at vlog 76 already. Seven, 1976, that was a really, that was a cool year for me. But um, a lot of firsts and a lot of adventures um, that year. I, I graduated from junior high school, which was 7th and 9th grade. I um, went on a killer surf trip to start off on the 4th of July my first time in Bolinas, of all places. Ta-da! And uh, we actually went to Stinson Beach to surf, but it was kind of funky. So one of the guys that knew Bolinas said, let's go over there. And I didn't even know where Bolinas was. And um, had fun there on the 4th of 1976. Actually uh, <clears throat> dropped acid for the second time in my life. And then later that summer, at the end of July, I went, the, like two weeks later, I went on a trip around the country with the people that lived in the house behind my house until, oof, boy, like the second day of September or something. We were gone for a long time. And we drove a big loop around the United States, heading up through the Midwest, up to the upper, you know, seaboard, uh, Niagara Falls on, down to Florida, and then back through, you know, the southern part of the United States all the way back home. Anyway, so it was a, it was a great year. It was just, it was cool. Um, here drinking my second cup of coffee. Uh, today I wanted to talk about, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, uh, a metal body guitar. I put my tricone away, the silver guitar some of you have seen me use on here. And I've realized that I know I have to set it up better for slide. But I was I tuned it to regular tuning the other day. and was just finger picking, just playing like blues, non-slide blues tunes and rags and stuff. Was, I'm horrible at that, by the way. And uh, I liked how it sounded and felt. So I might leave it like that. And I brought out my original metal body guitar, which I will show you now. Set my coffee down. And that is this puppy right here I bought, I don't know how many years ago, maybe 15 years ago. It's a Dobro. It's not a slot peg head, as you can see. Um, single cone, spun cone. Uh, painted this wonderful Krylon monkey shit brown. Yes, it's metal, and we think, because it does kind of sound there, we think that it might be a different neck to the body. We're not sure, the friend I bought it from, and it looks like, if you could see that, that it was possibly crushed at one time or, or pushed in and then re-welded back. I don't know. It's it's a really, it, it's set up for slide. It, it's, a, it's a wonderful tone. It's, I'm not playing well because I'm, a little clumsy because I'm holding the guitar awkwardly and so forth. I'll probably play it later today. I got to be careful because it's it is a distraction. And as you can see, the lights are on at the table, and I have to continue penciling, finish penciling the next eight pages for tortilla number six, which I'm working on. So that and uh, was looking into uh, scanners, as you all know, and I found I've discovered online that there's a few scanners I could I could do but all of them will take at least a month to get here and so I have to go out and find a place that has still has curbside pickup and it's usually the best buy here but that got looted so that one's closed over in Emeryville so I don't know I don't know we'll see it's I'm gonna have to cancel a gig an illustration gig because of it let's put it that way um other than that, I might go out and ride my bike today. It's beautiful outside. There's really no wind to speak of. So I like to explore the island while I get a little workout. So I'm back into that because I'm training once again to go bike tour later in the year. Probably in the fall if I'm physically fit. And that's about it, kids. Other than that. Oh, and thank you for the questions. Um, I did talk about the comic book cartoons. And my pal and great illustrator, cartoonist Rick Lucy commented on that. Rick says uh, he even showed one of his drawings. He used to collect the wacky packs where the little race car ones and and he was you know he was into the same thing I was. I collected those too. And I'll tell you name a car you know a GTO any vintage especially muscle car a GTO a Charger a, a late 60s Camaro and I can draw them right out of my brain with a big smoke and spinning tires and little ones in front and big mill on the front you know with a blower and everything. You know, I could put the stick shift outside with a big hand. Oh, I used to draw those 
constantly. Those and choppers. I was really into drawing junior high school. Those are my big, big ones I used to draw. <laughs> anyway, uh, feel free to ask questions below. Subscribe below if you wish. Um, I will answer them. And uh, if you feel like looking at any of my stuff, any of my artwork, I might have a car on there. I don't know. Uh, my website at corntortillapress.com. That's corntortillapress.com. You're interested in any of the comic books and so forth, or stickers, t-shirts, let me know. And I have Venmo and PayPal. We can work something out. So go ahead and hit it up. And otherwise, if you're going out today, maybe you're going to go out and ride your bike. Maybe you're just going to go out and, and play guitar or ukulele or something. Uh, be sure to mask up. Be sure to wash your hands, sanitize, keep a safe distance away from others, and be kind to yourself and everyone else. Let's make this all work out, shall we? All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.